Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will talk about solving right triangles. Ano nga bang ibig sabihin pag sinabi natin solving right triangles? Ang ibig sabihin ng naman ito is that we are given some parts of a right triangle and we will try to find the missing parts of the given right triangle. So ano pa yung mga parts na meron tayo? When it comes to trigonometry, meron tayong three sides as, a, as our measurement na kailangan natin matutunan at meron din tayong three angles na dapat natin makita or mahanap. So all in all, meron tayong six measurements. Three measurements for the sides and three measurements for the angles. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So, yung first case natin, or yung first situation natin, kasi ito yung magiging series, meron pa tayo ibang part ng video na ito kasi medyo mahaba yung discussion. So, sabi dito, solving right triangles, pero ang una natin case is given the hypotenuse and one leg. So, ito yung first situation natin na, given the hypotenuse and one leg. Ngayon, meron tayo itong given that the right triangle ABC were B, this is your angle B, is a right angle, find angle A, angle C, and angle, and side C. Again, we need to find angle A, angle C, and side C. So as you can see, given this hypotenuse, which is 15, which is opposite to your right angle, and this is your leg, one of the legs, meron na tayo yung tatlong parts dito. We have two sides. So manawawala sa atin na isang side, which is yung C natin. Manawawala siya. Tapos, Ah, meron lang tayo dito right angle. Nawawala natin dito ngayon. Ay yung dalawang acute angles natin. So, paano ba natin solve yan? So, let's start with with angle A. So, paano ba natin solve yung angle A? For angle A, kung ito yung pagbabasihan natin, kung ito yung maging reference natin, so, for example, this is angle angle A. Okay, sorry. Not angle theta. Angle A. Your angle A can be solved using sine ratio. Bakit po? Meron tayong given opposite side at meron tayong hypotenuse. So bakit po hindi pwede ang cosine? Wala pa kasi tayong adjacent side to solve for angle A. Okay? So we have here sine A. Kasi nga po, we have the opposite over the hypotenuse. Yung opposite side natin is 8. So you have your 8 over your hypotenuse, which is 15. You have here sine A. Ngayon, gamit ang inyong calculator, so mahalaga meron kayo itong scientific calculator. Kung hindi man siya yung scientific calculator, you can download sa inyong mga mobile phones ng scientific calculator. Napaka-useful ng scientific calculator sa trigonometry. So for your scientific calculator, Ang gagawin mo lang muna is, di ba sign A yan? Yung iba, ito makinig kayo mabuti ha. Yung iba, sinsimplify mo na nila itong 8 over 15. Dinidivide mo na lang yung 8 by 15. Makakuha kayo ng decimal dyan. And then, saka sila mag-press ng second function. Pero sa atin kasi, kung meron kayo scientific calculator, you can directly um, solve for that. Ang gagawin nyo lang naman, again, you will use shift sign. Okay, shift sign. At ang lalabas dyan ngayon ay sine raised to negative 1. Okay? Shift sine, sine raised to negative 1. Pero actually, um, kapag pinundit nyo kasi yung shift, automatic magiging sine raised to negative 1 na siya. So, burahin ko na ito ha. Ang mangyari na lang dito is magiging letter A na lang siya. Angle A na mismo yan. Again, Ulitin yung step natin, baka malito kayo. You will press shift sign. Okay, shift sign. Tapos pindutin nyo yung, ano, yung fraction mode dyan, may fraction dyan, where you will input 8 over 15. 8 and 15. Tapos, pwede mo na i-press ngayon yung equal sign. Ang lalabas dyan ngayon ay 32 point 23, 0, 9, 52, 63, 55. Pwede nyo maging answer yan, actually. Pero kapag tinanong sa inyo ng teacher nyo, 
Lagyan natin dito. A is equal to Angle is equal to 32.231 degrees. Yan ang gagawin natin. 23, uh, 32.231 degrees. Pero pwede na siyang i-express bilang nearest in minute. Nearest minute. Meron kayo pipindutin dyan sa nakalculator na magiging minutes siya. Yung, ano, yung merong degree, uh, minutes, and second. Press nyo lang yun and it will give you this answer which is 32 degrees and 31 minutes. Ito yung mga possible answers natin. Okay? So, sir, how about the other parts? Tapos tayo sa letter B. This is 32 degrees. Ay, letter A pala. 32 degrees and 31 minutes. Actually, guys, kaya natin mahanap agad yung angle B na angle C natin, sorry, angle C natin. Pero ipapakita ko pa rin sa inyo paano siya gamitan ng triangle ratio. Okay? For angle C naman, kung ito yung magiging reference naman natin, wala tayong opposite ang meron tayo ay adjacent side and hypotenuse. So most probably, ang gagamitin nyo ngayon ay cosine. So bakit po cosine? Kasi nga meron tayong adjacent and hypotenuse. So ang cosine B natin is equal to adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So, paano po yan? Yung adjacent mo is 8. So, that is cosine B is equal to 8 over 15. Same process. You will use shift. Sa inyong calculate shift. Pero hindi niya siya sign. Ang gamitin niyo ngayon na yung cosine. Tapos, pindutin niyo lang yung fraction dyan. Fraction mode. So, that is 8 over 15. Then, press nyo yung equal sign. At bibigyan kayo dyan ang sagot na ito. Angle B or B is equal to uh, that is 57 57.5 0.769 degrees. Wait lang, may correction na ako dito. Double check natin. Pag pangyas ko yung ano, yung 32.231 degree. Okay. Siya ay tama naman tayo. Ah, this is not ano, this is 14, sorry. This is 14. 14 minutes. Dito naman, para naman dito, yung 57.769 na natin, degree, is simply 57 degree and 46 minutes. Actually guys, um, may mas madaling way nito. Diba alam naman natin na yung triangle natin is ano, Ang angles niya ay 180. Itong tatlong to, kapag in natin sa 180. So, ang gagawin natin dito ngayon, meron kang 180. Para makuha natin ito, ha, 180 minus 90. Kasi meron kang right triangle. So, meron kang 90. Tapos, i-minus mo ulit, nakuha mong value ng angle A mo, which is 32 degree and 31 minutes. So, ang nalabas ngayon dyan ay ito. Ito pa rin. Okay. 32, tama ba tayo? Ah, na 31, uh, 50, uh, para 14. So again, ito pa rin nalabas ngayon sa atin dyan. So 57 degrees and 46 minutes. And so how about side C? For side C naman guys, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. We have, yung ating, yung ating hypotenuse is side B, di ba? So, B squared is equal to A squared plus C squared. Again, hindi po yung C yung ating hypotenuse dito. Since yung ating right angle is angle B, automatic yung side, ito ay B. Side B natin ng hypotenuse. So, we have here B squared is equal to A squared plus C squared. 
So, this will become 15 squared is equal to yung ating A. Ito ay A. Ito yung B natin. So, this is 8 squared plus C squared. And 15 squared is 225 is equal to 8, ah, sorry, 64 plus C squared. Transpose natin yung 64 sa kabilang side ng equation. That is 2025 minus 64 is equal to C squared. Subtract natin. Ano sabihin? That's 225 minus 64. That will give you 161. Okay? Is equal to C squared. Ngayon, kunin mo yung square root nito. Kunin natin yung square root ng 161. Ang square root ng 161, C is equal to 12.69. Ito lang yung mismo sagot natin para sa side B natin. 12.69. So, I hope na natutunan nyo yung process kung paano mag-solve ng right triangles. Again, pag sinabi natin solving right triangles, yun yung pinapasolve sa atin yung missing parts ng right triangles na meron tayo. At ito na yung first case natin where in given the hypotenuse and one leg. So I hope na tuto kayo sa ating video with regards to solving right triangles. And stay tuned kasi meron pa tayong uploaded, i-upload na video kasi maraming parts to na kailangan nyo matutunan when it comes to trigonomics. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!